Hello guys, welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, no matter where you are. Welcome back to AWMFX. Today, I'm going to share a potential trade. Maybe not one, maybe not two. I'm not sure. Let's look at it. Uh, I have shared about the potential trades on the GBP past a uh, few weeks ago. I should say a few weeks ago. So looks like it's coming soon, very, very, very soon. So first of all, let's look at the potential trade. Now I'm looking at a GPCHF, okay, the Great British Pound versus the Switzerland Franc. So what I can see over here is that there is a QM level. There is a very, very beautiful QM level. So this is a movement going up. Then this is the head. This is the left shoulder length. Then suddenly there's a drop. All right, there's a drop. Then now the price is returning to this area. So where is my potential entry? So uh, looking at it now, this is uh, I'm looking at the H4. Uh, this one called H4 time frame. So looking at it, I saw a potential entry over here. But remember, this is not a tips. This is just my own opinion. Do trade if you guys understand. All right, so first of all, we have our QML. Let's identify our QML. So where is my QML? Let me see, wait a minute, something's not right. All right, QML over here. So first of all, let me ask this question. Is QML important? No, you, if you guys have been following me, then you know QML is not important all right camera is not important camera is just a uh it's just a signal to tell you the price is going to reverse that's all so this is the qml and you look at the price now it's going up so where is my potential entry now we look for mpl mpl or the decision point zone so for me this is my decision point or my key or my MPL, all right, red color should be okay. This part, this is my decision point or MPL. Why, 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 why do I put it at that place? Let's look into it. Uh, let's switch it to H1 for better or clearer. Where is it? Yes, nicely, nicely done. So if you look at it, at this area where I put my line, there is a lot of rejection from the top and the bottom. This is what I want. This is really what I want. So over here, we have rejection over at this area. So if I extend this line, there is a rejection, rejection, rejection again. Then once it goes through, that is, it has a hard time and then come, comes back to the original point. Then it goes up again before it had the initial move that broke the previous low that forms the QML. All right. So this will be my zone. This place will be my zone my entry zone but is this huge let me see let me see is this huge 28 pips all right 28 pips okay to be honest there is nothing much i can do for this trade reason is that there is a lot of uh what should i say there is a gap over here and a lot of information is not there so i do not know what is going to happen in the lower time frame even now i'm looking at h1 so what i can say is that my potential entry will be around this area to the top that's all end of the story okay so my stop loss will be lower by a bit nothing much i can do 25 pips all right that's all i can do so where is my potential entry so before that let's Come back to this area we have to look for the uh, price action when the when this movement comes back to the right shoulder now we're looking at the right shoulder so first of all what we have over here is a fake out we have a very very obvious fake out can you see this red line maybe I'm gonna use another type of line uh, let's do it purple by the way my daughter loves purple color a lot Okay, so this purple color here is a fake out. We have fake out. Then now the price is going up. Then I'm expecting, this is what I'm expecting. 
there is another fake out over here. This is another fake out. I'm expecting another fake out over here. All right. If it really does happen, a fake out over here means that the chances of this trade is very, very high. All right. The chances of this trade is very high. If there is no fake out, okay, it does not do any fake out, then we look for is there any possible offer compression? Even better, I tell you, if there's a compression, that is the best. Then if it happens to be a compression and then a liquidity over here means that CPLQ, I tell you that is the best. That is the best setup you can look for. Then definitely this is the best choice of coming down. All right, so this is one of the trade I'm going to share with you. So now let's look at other trade of GBP. Other trade GBP. We have a lot of GBP trades coming up. So you get yourself ready. You look at it. The, the pattern is almost the same. This is the QML. This is the head coming down. Then suddenly now the price moving up. So there is a lot of potential entry in the GBP. So I will share the GBP CHF. The rest, uh, some of you, if you understand, please do trade. It's a lot of potential coming up. This is another QML. Another QML. Another QML. I'm not going to show you. <laughs> There's another QML over here. There is a lot of potential trade. If you look at, especially this one, GBUSD, the price is coming back in a compression wave. And I believe it's going to make a CPLQ soon. Before it goes, you're going to reach my entry target. And that will fall very, very big. What is going to happen? I do not know. All right, all this may be a hidden news, means that it's not in the economic calendar. So trade with care. Hopefully you guys can earn some money because I believe a lot of people is suffering due to the economic crisis or the coronavirus right now. So good luck. See you guys in the next video. Hope you guys doing well. Bye.